All right, what is going on, my dudes? Today we are talking about the newly buffed champion, Juggernaut. Now, this guy has been one of the worst champions in the entire game for years. And today, he's buffed, and he is so much better in almost every single way, except as a defender, where he's actually kind of worse as a defender. Now, if you rank this guy up specifically for defense, maybe that'll sting a little bit. But at the end of the day, going through the game, it's going to be a lot easier to deal with unless he's maybe placed on like a debuff from the you know but i don't know only time will tell there right but on offense this guy is so much more useful so his buff is really really simple man if if you attack the defender they gain unstoppable and if you dash back or block or, or get hit you're gonna lose an unstoppable when you get to 10 unstoppable buffs you can use your special too and that's going to put a very solid fury buff on you along with doing some additional burst damage so his damage output is much much better on top of pretty much always being unstoppable if you're playing him correctly being stun immune with the cost of seven unstoppable buffs when you're above seven uh so you can pretty much get to keep yourself at like 10 unstoppable buffs you can like tank a stun and crouch and stun or something else like that where you're going to get stunned and then you can build back up to seven again very very quickly literally in in less than one combo from three to seven in four hits so in five hits you'll be at eight able to, to you know tank another stun which is very very nice right a little blurry here let me fix that uh he also has like some other very tiny pieces of utility like for example he also has 25 percent reduced damage reduction when he has gem of cider act active which is definitely nice also immune to reversed controls okay so the 25 percent damage reduction it makes him pretty suicide friendly because you're going to be healing from the poison the entire fight which is nice now um you can spam your special ones to increase like your power rate and stuff like that and that would make him not suicide friendly at all but in my opinion it's better to just go for those special twos get that beefy fury keep your unstoppable buffs up so you're always healing as well and you also take some reduced damage from recoil mastery so let's take a look here we have a bunch of fights today we have some some realm of legends for a damage showcase um i brought him onto a path in act seven and then we have the our deadpool and venom the duck even we're going to do two of them today in act uh, 6.4 so we can see what his damage output is going to be like in longer content like you know realm of legends medium-sized content in act 7 and also shorter content like battlegrounds and alliance war and also daily quests and cavalier event quests right like that deadpool and then the duck so we'll start off here with captain marvel because you know winter soldier is annoying with his special two you know when you're taking a bunch of blocked hits with this guy you're going to be losing a bunch of your unstoppable but now as you can see we're going to be taking this one a little bit more tame than some other fights because you know it's super fun to be ridiculously aggressive and take a lot of hits to the face while you're unstoppable and just heavy chain in the corner and do all this fun stuff but if you're playing this guy in war or in battlegrounds when you want to preserve your health and be a little bit safer you might not always want to do that right so let's say let's see how does he work as like a normal champ like just playing him like you know as if you weren't unstoppable all the time well after the special two it's looking like we're doing some nice 13k 14k medium attacks which is really really nice so the special two when it crits it hits pretty freaking hard man now the sp the heavy attacks are doing 30k crits as well when you have the fury from the special two he has that nice quick heavy attack that's only one hit allowing you to go for those chains in the corner as well as you can see we're going for the special two again and we didn't get a crit that time but even without the crit it's doing like a solid like 50k plus damage which is definitely definitely nice now keep in mind i am running suicides with this guy right now but the damage was really really good with him right um so really solid stuff and now we're gonna watch that exact same fight again but this time without the suicide masteries so with juggernaut the way his like attack rating scales is that most of it comes well, not most of it because he's pretty pretty decent right he gains a lot of attack rating from each unstoppable but he gets a really large fury from the special too okay now when it crits you're going to notice very similar numbers so the heavy attack was critting for about 30k here you're going to see it for about 26k which is not bad 13 14k medium attack crits the special too was doing like 30k crits on the second and third parts if it crits here yeah same thing about give or take right so the damage is still very very solid here in about 30 seconds we're down 270 ish thousand health which is definitely not bad of course with suicides he's going to hit harder that's just that's just the point of the masteries otherwise nobody would ever run them because of recoil and it makes absolutely no sense but 
Juggernaut is not a champion who needs them. In my opinion, he's just really good with them because he gets that damage reduction on the recoil and also he heals from the poison, okay? So one more special two and this Captain Marvel is going to be flushed right down the toilet in about 60 seconds, okay? So there we go, 12K medium, not too bad at all, man. With or without the Suicide Masters. Now, if you want to play even a little bit more aggressive, like if we're, you know, against like Winter Soldier here, you know, what you can do is you can kind of like stand there, right? Did I do it here? Um, like right here, I probably do it, where you can just like kind of take the hit while you're unstoppable. Doesn't really matter. You can just stay in close. You know, you can kind of play him like Mole Man a bit or like Killmonger or like, you know, any champion like that where you're unstoppable and you kind of like intercept with the unstoppable, which is definitely nice. So that's going to give him an easy opening for intercepts, by the way. So if you're like a, a player who is not like super duper comfy, that was a solid special too, super duper comfy with your intercepts, like right there, you see that? That would have counted as an intercept, um, which, you know, there are certain nodes like ebb and flow intercept and stuff like that. Obviously against a real defender, you don't want to push in the special three, but like I said, we're just going to be super aggressive here and just, just, just be the juggernaut, right? That's what we're doing. So um, nice 35K special one with that. Plus we got the energize going. You could chain those special ones after that, man. Yeah, some pretty good stuff. So but like I was saying, there are some nodes like, you know, uh, ebb and flow intercept and um, Aju's intercept, which we haven't seen for a while, but nodes where you have to intercept to get some sort of benefit, right? And he's going to be one of those champions who's really, really easy to access that because you can go full five of combo, back up, you get the free intercept with the unstoppable plus 25% reduced damage. Um, and you don't even have to take the hit into the face. You can like go to intercept normally, but if you mess up, you're unstoppable, which is really, really nice. Now, one thing to call out is that his unstoppables do go away if you hit their block when you're at 10. So I don't like that mechanic um, personally. I wish that wasn't a thing. You do get a small benefit where you go unblockable, hit them through their block, and then also it puts a wither on them. Um, so cool you know but i would recommend trying to keep your 10 at all times also if you put a uh non-damaging debuff on this guy right if, if any non-damaging debuff falls onto juggernaut you're going to lose your unstoppables and then you won't be able to get um your gem back until you use a special attack so let's go for deadpool and run in the duck here now this is the health pool of about 160,000. so this is kind of like a battlegrounds alliance for health pool have event quest side quest casual questing okay so if you're a fan of juggernaut you have him ranked up you want to use this guy this is what he's going to look like for like your casual questing and, and stuff like battlegrounds man now of course he's not going to be usable on every node in battlegrounds no doubt about that right but keep in mind he also has a nice stagger on the heavy attack while the gem is at i mean he's deadpool's dead it's just done it's just done that was so fast so his damage output is significantly improved man like i feel like one of the biggest um criticisms from people recently when it comes to like buffs is like okay yeah they're a little bit better but they still don't really hit very hard and they still don't really have any utility so i feel like the juggernaut buff is, is very nice it's not like going to be game changing i don't think but he is significantly better like he's actually going to be very useful for things now and he's actually good or even, you know, end game players with really, really big accounts. Like for example, can't stop, won't stop. It's gonna be kind of hard to argue that this guy isn't the best option for it. He's just consistently unstoppable the entire fight. So here I actually ran right through the second part of that special too, because I wanted to try to get up to 10 unstoppable buffs here, right? We're playing a little bit more aggressive against Remnant the Duck and against Deadpool. But as you can see, the unstoppable buffs, they allow you to do that. So it's really fun, man. When the defender's attack rating is not super duper high, it doesn't really matter. You can kind of go in and you can just like have fun with this. So side quests, have event quests, man. That's where this guy's gonna be really, really fun in my opinion. So let's take a look here at this lane in Act 7.1. Um, he's really, really good for it. It's can't stop, won't stop first and foremost. So you only do damage when you're unstoppable. So obviously he's gonna be amazing for this. There's also muscle wizard and fight or flight. So fight or flight every 12 seconds, the defender's gonna gain an unstoppable buff for seconds. But if you're far away, you gain it. But the important one here is muscle wizard. Whenever a mystic attacker knocks down the defender, the attacker has a 100% chance to gain an unstoppable buff for six seconds. But if the attacker is already unstoppable, they instead gain an indefinite theory buff, increasing attack rating by 50% and a maximum of four can be gained this way. So obviously we're gonna be really good here because we're going to be always unstoppable. And when we go for a heavy attack, check it out. Medium heavy right into that fury buff. Now we can stack four of those bad boys, okay? So 
obviously there are other mystic champions who are going to be really good here dr doom with the annihilus or diablo synergy is going to be really nice because you're going to have the guaranteed critical hits on the heavy attacks and you're going to be unstoppable the entire time you're going to gain those furies and you're going to do good stuff but juggernaut just being juggernaut playing the way that you would play him anywhere pretty much right He's doing really well. One special two and the defender's down at 50%. Now, unfortunately, that special two definitely ate a bit of block damage there. So, you know, I would, like I said, man, it's, it's great that you're unstoppable. It's fun that you can like be really aggressive and stay in the corner. But if you are actually using this guy for serious content, I think I would recommend you play him like a normal champ and just have that safety net of the unstoppables there the entire time. So here, is one place where I actually do like the unblockable through the block when they're like almost dead after the special two. I went in and I hit through his uh, his block, right? Um, when he was unblocked, and I went unblockable and I just finished him off with the last combo. So that's nice, right? But you'd have to use a special attack to get your gem back and then build your unstoppable up again. We'll do one more fight on this lane, okay? Um, because it's fun. And it's the same thing over and over, so we don't have to watch the entire thing, right? So I was like, okay, it's pretty much the same thing. Not the hardest lane in the entire game, um, but it's just something that he's really good at, you know? And keep in mind, the stagger is really, really good. It's not as strong as uh, Jane Foster's stagger. That's one thing that's a little bit underrated about Jane's buff, I think, is that her stagger got really heavily improved, uh, where it's going to be 17 second staggers, two of them, every time she has a heavy attack with a guaranteed critical hit, um, which, is, which is nice. You know, he's putting on two when he has the unstoppables, the gem active, but dude, look at that special too, man. Of course, we have the fury buffs amplifying the damage a bit, along with the suicide masteries on right now. As you can see, with suicides going, we're healing actually every single time now we did take a lot of block damage from howard the duck unfortunately right so um but keep in mind i do think he is very suicide friendly because that special two hits really hard man plus you're healing back most of that recoil damage that you're going to be taking but look 39 hits man to get down uh act seven path defender like i mean it's not bad it's really not bad. It's not super duper insane amazing, but it's definitely much improved. Now, when it comes to synergies for this guy, he does have a few that I like. This one right over here with Diablo, uh, while unstoppable, Juggernaut doubles his armor rating, which is really solid if you're gonna be taking those like, you know, hits to the face and playing him in the corner and do five hit combo. Take a hit, intercept right away, right? It's nice. And over here at Icarus, if you're going to be going for like heavy attack chaining, right? Um, while unstoppable, gain plus 100% combat power rate on heavy attacks. So if we were to go into a fight and just get like really crazy with it, you know, we can push him back over here. Boom, heavy attack. Look at how much power we're gaining. Now on top of that, we can also go for the special one, get the energize, right? And now we can do this. Nope, we could do this. But look at that one heavy attack. Look at how much power we gain, right? We can go for that. We can go for that. I mean, like, that's pretty silly, right? I think that's pretty silly. We just keep stacking up those unstoppables and also stack up the energize. Doesn't really matter. Obviously, I don't recommend you play like this because it's silly. But it's just like, hey, man. He could do it and he's gaining all that power and it's really crazy you know but yeah so that is a uh, juggernaut also one more thing i want to mention about his kit this is not going to be reliable but all attacks have a three percent chance at stake 200 per unstoppable buff to nullify a buff from the opponent so at 10 unstoppable buffs 30 percent chance on every single hit to nullify a buff on the opponent which is like fine i mean you have to be at max unstoppable and sig 200 to have 30 percent chance it's, it's low, um, low chance there, but also, hey man, it's nice to have, would not rely on it. But also, um, one thing about him is that when you lose your, your gem, is that you gain like a weakness passive, but when you're awakened, the weakness passive from the gem is reduced to only 5% damage and becomes a debuff instead. So that's, that's nice, you know, like being at a high sig is going to um, pretty much save your damage a bit if you happen to mess up. Um, but if you play him, you know, not super duper recklessly, you could totally play this guy unduped. Everything you saw in this video, you could do pretty much unduped, which is definitely nice. Um, but yeah, Juggernaut Man, he is like pretty cool. So definitely a nice buff. Uh, yeah, we'll have to see what he does to the game going forward. And um, I'm interested to see what you guys think about Juggernaut. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos coming to you very soon. We've seen you around, man.